Hello, hello. We are going to be talking about NoCodeDB, the open source Airtable database clone type of deal. <laughs> it's a free version of Airtable, basically. Um, you know, it doesn't obviously have the same feature set exactly, but it's very similar in a lot of ways. Um, and we want to talk about linking records between tables. Now, I want to just focus on many to many because it's like the simplest case. And if you understand that, you can basically figure out the rest fairly easily. Um, it's a little bit tricky. I, uh, when you look at the API documentation for linking records, uh, let's see here, where's the that link records. So I'm at, uh, their, their API documentation here. And, uh, so it says the API endpoint allows you to link records to a specific link field and record ID. The request payload is an array of record IDs from the adjacent table for linking purposes. Note that any existing links, if present, will be unaffected during this operation. So I, it's a little bit confusing to me what like what's the source and what's a target when I read that. Well, it's actually it was actually very confusing to me. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I played around with it just to make sure I understood it. And, uh, so I want to give you a quick look at an example. Uh, I have a table here. I'm self-hosted, right? NoCoDB. I have a table here I was playing with called faceless video system. And in the faceless video system includes a collection of scenes, right? Now I said many to many, this is actually more one to many or many to one. But um, it could work that you could have multiple uh, entries of faceless video system in scenes too, if you wanted. That's not how I'm actually going to use it. But <laughs> uh, so yeah, so in this case, we have the faceless video system, which I am calling the target. That's the target. So I want to get the the language correct here, right? So our target is here at the faceless video system. Our source is the, the scenes, right? So we're going to take either one scene or a collection of scenes, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to target here in faceless video system. And I think it'll become more like, it's still confusing, right? <laughs> but I think when you, you see an example, it'll be clearer. And I, well, I like this example in the sense that we have a collection of scenes that's the source going to the target because that's kind of how the API is set up. If you look at it right here, you see the body is a collection, right? So, okay. Anyway, so let's go into the table itself. I'm gonna look at first at this table and just show you, we have here the field that includes the link to our scenes table. We're calling it scenes here. So this is our link. It's, and I set it many to many. And then on the scenes table, we have the equivalent right here. The faceless video systems column right here is our many to many link back to the faceless video systems. Okay. So that's the first element that each table has. That's like the, like the base core thing we need here is the the link right that's what we're talking about and then something that comes up is record id um so it's a little bit it could be deceiving this is not like if you do use airtable and you're familiar familiar with airtable the record ids are very distinct here it's a bit it could be confusing actually because the record ids if you're going in order will line up with the first um i believe the they will line up with the first I think they'll line up unless you do any, unless you're doing deletions and stuff like that. These just should line up with the, the numeric order like this. So unless you start deleting stuff, the record IDs will line up like that. And that being said, in case you start deleting and stuff, and I'll give you an example right here, where you see there's a numeric here and you can see the scenes, there's a lot more stuff going on here. There's, there's no consistency, right? 43, 44, 45. So it went up. Until 49, then jumps to 36. So it doesn't match up consistently here. 
I don't think so, right? It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't, absolutely does not. <laughs> absolutely does not match up consistently. Uh, so it is important to make sure you have a formula column. I'll just show you real quick how it looks. You would go formula. This is this is just like um, Airtable. It's the exact same thing. You would do an Airtable. You just type record, capital, ID, underscore, ID, parentheses. And then you get the record ID that way. All right. And you save the field and you'll see the formula. for and then That's the record IDs, right? Let's delete that. We don't need that. Okay. And you would want that in both tables. I actually, uh, as a habit, I, I always make um, a record ID column because for debugging and stuff like that, I just find it always helpful. Um, I also, as a habit, um, use uh, this field too. I always make the, no matter whenever I start a project, I always have these uh, fields created time and, uh, and record ID. That's like my, I always do that as a habit. Both in Airtable and NoCo. Um, okay, so that's the basics as far as setting up the table. And the contents, obviously, like that's that's based on your use case. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, I have a workflow just kind of showing how it's done, and I have a link to the API here. I set variables as far as when you're doing the when you're using the API, you can refer to your your table IDs. You can refer to column IDs. You can refer to record IDs. So sometimes it can get very confusing. So I, this is where setting variables is super helpful and powerful. <laughs> in this case, I want to talk about, well, you can set this variable, but I'm going to talk about in my target table, which is my video system. I'm going to talk about the fourth row by the record ID, by the record ID four. And then uh, from the source table, which are the scenes, I'm going to look at scene number 22 and the record ID, right? Um, and this is my base URL for my installation. And the target table ID again is my faceless system. So I'll show you right here, if you go to faceless video system and you'll see in the URL right there, you can use the API to refetch this information too, by the way, I'm just, I didn't want to go that detailed into it, but you see right there, this is your, your table ID and this is your base ID. My base is apex. There, faceless video system is right here. Okay, so it's something to be aware of when you're looking at these things. Um, so yeah, I just paste that there, so I don't have to worry about <laughs> like remembering which is which and all these random letters and numbers, right? So I'm setting those as a, a starting point. Now, uh, I need N does have a few nodes for no code DB, and it's just a few <laughs> like this is all you get unfortunately right um but so we, we just used the fact that i know which row i'm going to play with which was four in the system right and i'm fetching the fourth and using this uh node to do that it's going to grab that for me so i just have that information available for <clears throat> further down the line i also wanted to do this so you can kind of like visualize and connect what's the target and what's the source. So this is like the video system and this represents the collection of scenes. <laughs> and I, I would kind of think like, isn't in my head, I kept them confusing source as being like the system and scenes being like the target, but the source is the, is going to be a group, like a, an array. And I'll show you real quick. That's all we're doing here is grabbing the source row. This is me playing with the, the made API. There's, there's two uh, documentations. There's the data API. <coughs> Pardon me. Pardon me. So yeah, as I was saying, there's two different documentations. There's for the meta and the data. You see here in the, in the data API, it's just referring to table records and storage. But if you go to the meta API, You'll see all sorts of stuff. <laughs> it's, it's more meta, right? Um, so I did, I was interested in that because I, I, no, I noticed that. And so I used that unnecessarily <laughs> to, to look up the table metadata, which you don't have to do because you could just go over here into um, 
I mean, programmatically, it comes in useful, but in a case where you're just trying to understand the system, all, all you have to do is go over here to get the column ID. You right click on a column, and there's the ID right there. <laughs> so you should copy it from there. Um, but if you want to do it programmatically, then, and then it's good to know about the, the metadata API and how to use it. And there's an example here in this workflow. I'll like obviously give the workflow up. And it shows, boom, 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 that's, how, that's the metadata for um, the, the table. So part of the metadata, what you're going to get is this huge thing here. You can get all the columns and the columns by ID, which is the reason I was playing with it, right? Because I wanted the columns. Oh, sorry. There's a break. I'm confusing myself here. There we go. That's better. So now you see there's columns. These are, these, these are helpful for other, you know, this is very helpful for programmatically doing stuff with the API. Views, obviously, that's that's very helpful. Columns, calls by ID. I'm not sure why they set up that way. I'm sure there's a reason. But there's columns and then columns by ID. Um, and then ultimately what we're trying to do is just to link them, right? <laughs> link a record to a, from one table to another table. So we're going to link the record from the source to the target. In other words, again, that is the source in this case would be the scenes. We're going to, record, we're going to link a scene to our video system. That's the language, right? And the API call is just a bunch of variables. But ultimately, if you have success, you're going to get this response data true, just a true response. Um, if you try linking something, for example, this is already linked. I already played with this, this is already linked, right? If I run this again, the response is exactly the same. You have no idea that you just, you know, tried to relink something that's already linked. It won't do anything, but you'll still just get a true response back, which is not so helpful. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, it doesn't seem like the most helpful way of doing things, but that's what it is. Uh, so we'll do like, I guess we'll just do an example for, to test this out. So let's say I want to take a scene that has no link, right? Here you go. So I take this scene right here, this one that doesn't have a link. I'm going to grab the record ID. There's record ID is 23. So we know that's our source, right? So boom, 23. By the way, record ID and row mean the same thing, right? Uh, you can see it like when you retrieve a, something by record ID, it's just retrieving that full row, unless you restrict what values you're looking at. Um, okay, so we're grabbing our scene, record ID 23, and we're going to attach it to our video system. One, one that's, let's say, use this one, right? For example, because it doesn't have a link. So we want to get the record ID, which is 5. Okay. That's our target is 5. And we'll run that. Boop, 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 boop. And now you'll see, I'm going to have to refresh here. There you go. Our scene's linked. And that should be, what would you say, 23? So 23 should be linked now. Yep, 23 is now linked, as it was not linked before, right? So that's how it works. If I run it again, it'll just output true and do nothing. <laughs> All right, if, it, if I run again, it won't do anything. It'll just output a true then. Just, I guess that's how they set it up. Um, and again, the, the the reason I wanted to frame it this way as what is the target, what is the source, is because the body for the the source is an array. So if I wanted to link seven scenes to my system, then that's the correct order. Because that's where you see the many element of their basic API call here is right here. And all you do is you just put a comma. I mean, you're familiar with this comma and then add another, uh, another ID and as many as you want. And yeah, that's, that's the gist of it. I think, uh, should be pretty straightforward. I wonder if I answered all questions that would come up. If not, let me know. I'd be happy to share and et cetera, et cetera. Take care, everybody.